I'd like you to just sort of reflect on a question. This is a very politically sophisticated group because you're all involved in local government. You know how local governments work and you see how Springfield works or doesn't work. Imagine this. The referendum passes in November of 08. The lead matter then goes to the Illinois House and the Illinois Senate and they are asked to create rules by which delegates would be selected and how a constitution would be conducted. If you were Mike Madigan or Emil Jones or Tom Cross or the Republican leadership in the Senate, would you pass a bill that somehow deprived you of the power that you currently had? No. You would figure out a way, and there are ways, of designing the rules so that your current members are likely delegates, that it's a, uh, not a bipartisan or nonpartisan election, but it's that it's a partisan election. There is, you should not, I should not, and I don't think others should have, the impression that if this resolution passes and it goes to the Illinois House floor and the Illinois Senate floor, you're going to see anything different from what you see today happening in Springfield. Are there any other comments? Representative Fritchie, would you like to make the last remark? <laughs> Am I not kind to my colleague or what? He's you, a good man. Y'all don't know me well enough to know the restraint I'm feeling. <laughs> um, gosh. You know, and, 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 and it's tough here because I, I truly do think the world of everybody, of everybody at this table. Um, Folks, it's, 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 it doesn't reflect reality. You, you talk about it here. Dawn's absolutely right. You know, members need to take matters back into their own hands. But the damn rules are written right now that if you make a mo motion to discharge a bill, you need unanimous consent. It happens all the time in the House where a Republican, usually Bill Black, will make a motion to discharge something. Barbara Flynn Curry is the majority leader. Will stand up and say she objects. That's it. There'll be a motion to sustain the ruling that gets sustained because Democrats are in the majority, and that's it. You know, I've had the I've had the distinction of sending countless bills over to the Senate by unanimous vote, mostly ethics bills, but bills dealing with the issue of youth smoking and other issues. And I had those things buried by George Ryan and Paid Phillip. And it wasn't wrong when Ryan and Phillip did, or it wasn't right when Ryan and Phillip did it. It's not right when Blagojevich and Jones do it. I'm sick of it. I don't know a way around it. The Senate, they've got a supermajority. We have a supermajority Democratic uh, majority in the Senate. And we can't move an agenda over there. We have a Democratic majority in the House, and we can't move an agenda. You know, Don, Don hit on that. You know, I'm, I'm embarrassed. For those of you that don't know it, you know, not only am I a Democrat, not only am I the successor to the governor in his, in his House seat, he's, he's my constituent. And, you know, there's something wrong when I've got to worry about going to the grocery store. I have to worry about going to get a cup of coffee. And I have to get waylaid by friends and neighbors to say, what is wrong with you people? Why can't you get it right? Ladies and gentlemen, our job is not rocket science. But if we're not sending people down there that can get the job done, again, I'm not trying to make this too simplistic. I have more faith in all of you and your neighbors to do this. I, here, if, if we send people down there and we nothing happens, and let me take Nancy's issue real quick, and I don't mean to ramble. The idea of structuring how the delegates are going to be elected. We draw districts right now. There is nothing that has more of an influence on what our legislature looks like than the way that we draw legislative districts right now. You want one issue alone that could mandate a constitutional convention? How about computer-generated legislative districts? So that districts are not being drawn to map somebody in their house, out of their house, and control what a damn district looks like to, to dissuade, to dis, to dissuade competitive elections. Here, filing period ends in two weeks. It starts in a week. It ends in two weeks. You take a look at how many competitive races there are going to be in the Illinois House and the Illinois Senate. I bet you don't have ten competitive races in the House. I don't know that you have half a dozen in the Senate, if even that. The districts are not drawn to be competitive. The majority of people in Illinois are not to the far left. They're not to the far right. They're somewhere in the middle. When you know, People always say, we're a blue state. You know, we're, we're more purple than blue. We're not a dark blue, but we have to, we have set up a dichotomy that creates for partisanship. It creates gridlock. And now when the Democrats can't even get it right among themselves, how the heck are we going to work among the Republicans? Ladies and gentlemen, something has got to, I wish I had the confidence and belief 
that we could do this short of a constitutional convention. The last 11 years of service have led me to believe that we can't. The last 20 years of history have led me to believe that we can't. You know, it's too expensive and too risky to roll the dice say, let's see what happens. But again, when I look at who we sent to Springfield in 1970, and there's some, some stellar names there. Some you might like and some you, not, you, some you may like, some you may not. You know, you had a Don Clark Nets, you had a Mary Lee Leahy, you had a Mike Madigan, you had a Richard Daly. Uh, you, you had a whole host of folks over there. One of the most damning things on Illinois politics was Paul Green that made a statement a couple months ago that he wasn't, cons- uh, he wasn't supporting a constitutional convention because he did not believe that we could find the requisite intelligent people to send down there to to overview and review the constitution. What kind of statement is that on a state of 12 million people? I believe we can send qualified people down there to review the constitution and I believe they can do the right thing. Thank you. I want to thank my panel, my distinguished panel, for being here today. And I want to thank you for um, sitting in the audience and listening. You enjoy your entire weekend. If there's any questions we can answer while we're leaving, please don't hesitate to come talk to us. Thank you. You're watching the Illinois Channel an independent nonprofit corporation formed to provide gavel-to-gavel coverage of Illinois state government and other public affairs events taking place across Illinois. If you have any comments or questions on our programming, please email us at illinoischannel at aol.com. Or if you have any questions about the Illinois Channel, please visit our website at www.illinoischannel.org.